Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy. So today we're going to be running through the best outlining tools for writers. If you're outlining a book, or even if you're just in the planning stage, maybe you're not an outliner, but you're trying to get organized and just keep all your notes in one place. Maybe you're doing some kind of world building. You may be wondering what the best tool or software is for you, maybe beyond something like good old, but fairly basic Microsoft Word. I use Microsoft Word to plan my novels for a long time and only recently have I branched out. And let me tell you, it's a whole world out there of great, fantastic tools, many designed specifically for writers. So there's definitely something out there for everyone, depending on what you need. So let's just run through these different tools, their pros, cons, and general features. So first up is the Readsy Book Editor. This is Readsy's free word processing tool, but we currently have in beta a bunch of outlining features as well. There's also editing features. And basically it's just a super approachable but customizable outlining, word processing, and editing software. It's free, it's online, so your work is automatically backed up, and you can just seamlessly move between drafting and planning phases. So no matter what phase in the writing process you're at, it kind of just all syncs together and it's very easy to navigate. You can sort notes through a bunch of different modes, view them as tile cards or as drop-down menus, really easy to create character profiles, sort notes for world building, um, as well as organize your outline through these different tile cards. Overall, it's just a very flexible program. Personally, what I like about it, I find it can be a little overwhelming to use anything too complicated, but I find that the RBE just has the right balance between having a lot of really flexible features, but also being really intuitive to use and not being overwhelming. Next up would be World Anvil. Now this is for all the fantasy writers out there. So World Anvil is a world building software that allows you to create very extensive world building bibles. You can essentially create your own wiki and you can link different pages. They have you know over 25 different types of templates for things like buildings, characters, countries, items, languages, etc. I think the main thing to note about World Anvil is that for some people it will just be too much and too complicated. You know, for the casual writer who's just doing some casual world building, it'll probably be too much. For the hardcore world builder, it's ideal, but it definitely has more of a learning curve. And it's not for anyone who wants simplicity. It's for those of you who are, you know, very into your world building, you're creating very detailed worlds, and you wanna have this just deeply extensive world building Bible. Next up is Microsoft OneNote. So this is Microsoft's notebook software. Um, so if you're a longtime Microsoft Word user, this is kind of just Word in notebook format. The features, you can create notebooks with as many different sub pages as you want. You can also create links between pages like in World Anvil, which is super handy. It's just a nice balance I find between free flowing and very clearly structured. Um, you can access it online or on a desktop app. It's very easy to use, very intuitive, but it also creates a very clear structure to your notes. Um, and that structure is also very easy to manipulate and change if you need to. I personally have been using it recently to create a world building Bible and I am loving it as a way more intuitive, way simpler alternative to World Anvil. The main con here is this is really just for note taking. You're not gonna draft in OneNote, you're not gonna edit in OneNote. It doesn't link all the phases of your uh, writing process together. It really is just a planning tool. Next up would be Notion. So Notion is an all-in-one note taking and organization app that centralizes your entire workspace. Um, you've probably heard of Notion. It's pretty popular among many people, not just writers. It's basically infinitely customizable. There are tons of online templates. You can create databases and sort information um, by different categories. You can collaborate with others. Like with World Anvil, you can also basically create a wiki that sorts information and documents and all links together. Now I'll say as a personal note, I found Notion a little too overwhelming to get to use, maybe just because it's so flexible, but it's a favorite by many. So as a result, there are tons of writer specific Notion templates out there that you can download to make getting started easier. Next up would be Milanote. So Milanote is a free flowing note taking app that kind of combines note taking with mood board. The features are that it's very easy to organize. It's very visually appealing. If you're a very visual writer, this is a great option. It would be great for mind mapping. It's really just great for the writer who wants a really straightforward but visually appealing 
notes taking app. It's easy to organize, it's fairly straightforward, it's very visually appealing. It's kind of like the ability to create your own Pinterest board combined with a note taking app. Next would be Campfire. So Campfire is a planning and writing software designed specifically for writers. So it has writers in mind. There are tons of customizable templates to create the look and vibe of your project. Huge number of different modules to help you brainstorm and plan if you want that guidance. So things like characters, locations, maps, research, timeline, etc. as well as just the ability to draft in the program. So these templates give you specific prompts for information. This one isn't free, but it has a really flexible payment program where you pay only for the modules that you need. So if you're like, nope, I don't need maps. I'm not writing something with maps. You don't have to pay for maps. You only pay for the modules that you actually want to use, which is pretty cool. If you want to learn more about Campfire, we have a full written review of that actually. So I'll leave that in the description, especially since it's a paid program. If you're weighing whether or not it's right for you, there's way more information available there. And finally is Scrivener. Scrivener is kind of the original writing software by and for writers. It allows for very extensive and flexible planning and drafting features. So this is another program that kind of interlinks your drafting and planning phases and kind of just localizes all your notes in a very comprehensive place. You can switch through different modes of viewing your notes. It's very detailed. It's very, very beloved by many. My personal experience with Scrivener is that I definitely liked it when I've tried it, but personally, I've always found it's a little too much for me. You know, I'm, I'm a simple writer. I like a simple, a simple program. And so personally, I've always found Scrivener is a little too much. It's just more than I need. And I don't like to use a program that's more than I need because I find it ends up getting cluttered. If you have a more complex process and a more complex project, Scrivener might be fantastic for you. But I would say if you want a simpler version of Scrivener that I think has all the same base features, but is more intuitive, to use, then I think the RBE is a great option, especially because it's also free. So those are some of the best tools for planning and outlining a book with a bunch of different options for different types of processes and different types of writers, depending on what would work best for you. These are all great programs. I've enjoyed all of them, even the ones that I don't personally use. Like I don't personally use World Anvil or Scrivener. That's just because they don't really fit my process, but I also definitely can recommend them fully because when I've used them, I've been very impressed. They just weren't right for me. So that's why my question for today is what do you use to plan and outline your work, especially if it's a tool that wasn't talked about in this video. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye.